Right, we're going to tie a popsicle here. Uh, I'm going to start with large diameter Scandinavian plastic tubing. And I've just cut about a one inch section. And I've melted the back edge next to a flame. Now, I'm going to be adding a uh, ultralight monster cone to this, so I'm going to be inserting some bright orange, small diameter Scandinavian plastic tubing. I'm going to put it in, if you push it in far enough, it fits pretty tight. I don't usually bother with glue. I've never had one fly apart on me yet. I guess there's always a first time. Uh, got about another inch of the large diameter, pardon me, the small diameter front. So it's almost like I have a step tube now. A large, large Scandinavian tubing in the back and a small Scandinavian tubing at the front. Okay. And again, the melted end on the back. I'm going to slip this onto my tapered needle. Again, just snugly, not uh, too tight. You want to definitely get it off. I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. All right, so popsicle. I'll leave about uh, uh, just a little bit less than a quarter of an inch at the back here. Wrap my thread on. I'll start with orange marabou. And like all tube flies, you're going to need more more uh, body material than you normally would on a hook. So I'm probably going to be used to using two two uh, marabou feathers for the orange. Just cut the base off. Nice thing about marabou flies is they're, they're they're pretty simple. All you're simply doing is spinning spinning the marabou on, kind of combing it back with your fingers as you go. And, uh, I love tying marabou flies because they're they're really forgiving. Uh, not a lot of fancy technique involved, but very effective patterns. Another orange. <laughs> and just wrapping forward. Right, and that's it for the orange. Right, now we're going to switch it up to red. Right, now we'll start with some red marabou. Again, tying it in with the bottom of the feather and just spinning forward. And we'll go with one more red. And we'll just kind of brush it all back and get it kind of under control here. You can see we've got a nice transition now. Nice transition from the orange at the back to the red. Now we're going to do the same thing except with purple. And don't be worried about the step that the that, uh, large Scandinavian tubing has and then down to the small. You can just tie right over that. Um, just spin the, spin the marabou again. So essentially the same technique for the entire body of the fly, just using three different colors. There's so many great marabou patterns out there that, that uh, use a transition of colors. Some one or two colors, some three or four. But there's some fabulous patterns. Nice easy once to get started with on tubes. Okay, so you can already see because of the small diameter Scandinavian tubing, I've got a much smaller, if I was to make a head right now, I've got a much smaller head than I would using the large diameter. 
And sometimes I'll just wet my fingers a little bit and just kind of comb some of the fuzzy stuff back. Right, so you can see the nice transition now. Now I usually like to finish the pattern with a uh, with, uh, collar of Schloppen. And we'll go with purple on this one. We'll just trim the fuzzy stuff. And about seven or eight wraps. It's totally up to you, really. And just trim that up. Hey, okay, we're now ready. We're going to add one of these ultralight uh, monster cones onto the front. We've got a nice metallic orange one here that kind of kind of goes with the back of the pattern. Um, first what we need to do is finish finish the head of the fly. Now it's not too important to have a really fine finish on this on this head because you're covering it with a monster cone. Not really the end of the world if it's not perfect. Okay, at this point we'll cut the thread off and we'll give it a good good uh, coating of nail polish. I like to use this Sally Hans and stuff. Is it a nice well, if you weren't covering with a cone head it gives it a nice shiny finish, but really strong stuff too. Okay, so the ultralight monster cone is gonna slip over the Scandinavian tubing. The small diameter Scandinavian tubing. And we're going to just push back, not as hard as we can, but definitely some force there. And you can see there that it fits in pretty nice with that color. Now, in order to get this head to stay on, what we are going to do is we're going to trim, and you want, uh, it's about one, between one and two millimeters. You don't want a lot. You want to have just enough that you can melt next to an open flame. Get your lighter or candle, whatever you use. Now, ideally, you should wait until the nail polish dries. But you just just touching the tip, and you'll see it'll slowly start curling back on itself. And like anything plastic, you put it right in the flame, you're gonna have a big mess, maybe a fire. But you're just slowly going back and touching it. That's it. Okay, we'll just take this off our vice adapter, or pardon me, our tapered needle. Okay, and there it is. Okay, now a lot of guys will add uh, flashaboo to this too. Um, I like to fish them without flashaboo sometimes, but you get a nice fluffy pattern that pulsates in the water. Stick this back on. That is the. Pop school, ready to go get a steelhead.